Using emails has become part of our daily routine for a lot of us. So the usual thing is to send text to people in order to tell them a story or tell them what you're up to or ask them a question. But you can also send them attachments and photos and this video will show you exactly how to do that in a simple way. Hi everyone, my name's Guy and welcome to Guy's Guides where I provide simple guides to technology and the World Wide Web to help you on your online adventure. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use emails to send photos or attachments to others. We're going to use Gmail because it is the email provider that is used by most of us. But don't worry if you use Outlook or Yahoo or one of the many other email providers that there are out there as the steps are very similar. We'll walk you through the steps of how to send photos or attachments, then how to receive them from others. And we'll do this on both a computer and a mobile device so that regardless of the device that you use, you will be able to do exactly this and benefit from a fantastic functionality. Let's start off by looking at exactly how to attach a photo or a document to an email using a computer. So the first thing that I need to do once I'm in my Gmail account is start writing an email. And I can do that by clicking on the Compose button up here. As usual, when I write an email, I choose the person I want to send it to, a subject and some text to write. Then I'm ready to attach my document or photo to my email. And I can do this by looking for the paperclip icon. Now I can see that it's down here at the bottom. And when I click on that, it opens up my filing system within my computer. So now all I need to do is select the photo that I want to send. Let's imagine I want to send this photo of Guy and the cat. I then click open and this now is uploading the photo into the email. We can see the progress here with this blue bar uploading gradually into the email. And once it's ready, the image will appear blue rather than black, meaning that it's now uploaded into the email. And now all I need to do is click on send. Now let's look at how to receive a photo. I've received a new email from here which says photo of the cat. I know that it has an attachment because it has that paperclip icon up here. When I click on the email, I can see that there is an attachment which is a photo. The first thing I can do is click on the photo to be able to see the photo. But at this point, I have not downloaded it onto my computer. So now what I can do is download. And I can do that by clicking on this button up here. When I click on that, it downloads the file and I now have the file on my computer. A little extra tip is about sending that photo on to someone else. Now the important thing is that you need to forward the email rather than replying to the email so that it keeps the photo attached. So I do that just by clicking up here and clicking on forward. Whenever I forward an email, it keeps the exact content that I received and sends it on to whoever else I want to send it to. We can see exactly that because in the email, the file is still attached and it's down here at the bottom shown in blue. Now let's do exactly the same but on a mobile device. So I'm now in my Gmail account on my mobile phone. Again to send an email the first thing I need to do is click on the compose button. When I click on that I need to fill in my subject and my recipient and then find the paperclip icon just like on a computer. When I click on the paperclip icon it then shows me the photos that I can send. And these will be the photos that are stored on your mobile device. So I can either choose one by scrolling along the bottom here. In order to choose it, I just click on it. And that now is in my email ready to be sent. If you're on a mobile device that has a camera, when I click on the paperclip icon, I also have a camera down here at the bottom in gray. When I click on that, I can then take a photo of whatever is around me. Once I take the photo, I just say use photo and that will also attach the photo to my email. And you can again watch the upload status by following this blue bar along the bottom here. 
Once that's finished, your email is ready to send and it will include the photo that you have taken. And finally, let's look at how you receive an email with a photo or attachment on your mobile device. Let's look at the photo of the cat email at the top here. When I click on the email, I can see the photo down at the bottom. By clicking on the photo, it then opens the photo so that I can look at it on my mobile device. And then if I want to keep it so that I can look back at it easily on my phone, I just click on the download button, which is the downwards arrow. Here, it now says image saved down at the bottom of my screen. And now I can see the photo in my photos app on my mobile phone or mobile device. So there you go on how to send or receive a photo or an attachment in your emails. Don't forget the most important thing is to always look for the paperclip icon in order to attach photos or documents to your email. Wait for it to be uploaded into the email before sending because otherwise the person won't receive it. And remember to save the photo if you want to keep it on your computer or mobile device. Let us know if you have any questions by leaving a comment down below and we will get straight back to you with the answer. And if not, enjoy sending photos and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.